in this MSI Summer Series, uh, as uh, we are going to be on a matchup here on Cobble. And uh, Chris joining me is going to be Pat Flanagan. What's going on, dude? Hey, good to be back. Downplay versus unlimited potential in the knife round, deciding who's going to be uh, starting on CT or T. That was fast. Downplay with uh, side choice. Yep, and of course we just saw Limited Potential play this map a little bit earlier against Affinity. And uh, definitely you could see it. They had some stuff on the T side, but their CT side definitely lacked a little bit there. Though this is, you know, a map that is kind of T favored anyway. They're going to be going up against Downplay, which definitely features some names that I recognize um, from Counter-Strike Source as well as CSGO. So I know Lopez, who's been around since CS Source and NA for a while pretty successful in CSGO, playing in some of the semi-pro leagues and stuff. And then Virtus, uh, a pretty solid opper, used to play with SKDC, uh, has also played around with some different semi-pro teams as well. Definitely got a pretty good op, definitely somebody to look out for. Um, so I'm actually a little bit more familiar with the names from Downplay than I am from Unlimited Potential, uh, to be wow. honest. Though so there is a couple of names, like, like we said, Good Karma, kind of a name that we, we recognize floating around this. This should be a pretty interesting game, I think. I think this should be, you know, decently close. I think so. Downplay coming in uh, from the lower bracket. Uh, their previous game was against the Lock Esports on Inferno with a win of 16 to 13. Uh, that's actually pretty big because if you take a look at the brackets, uh, the Lox Esports surprisingly able to take down both Method and Lunatic Esports before their game against Downplay. So uh, two pro teams... Two SEVO Professional League teams taken down by this Veloxy Sports. Then Downplay beat them easy 16-13. Now it's going to be unlimited potential against Downplay. The winner of the lower bracket finals, of course, moves on to face Affinity for the number one position in uh, our qualifier number two uh, to get some more points on the board for that I buy power invitational slot. Absolutely. They hit the nail on the head there, so we're going to see who can do it so, uh, here in just a second. Waiting on the players to uh, fully ready up. The map is going to be Cobble. Uh, that was chosen. My elimination. Uh, unlimited potential banning off uh, Inferno Cash and Mirage. Downplay ended up banning Dust 2, Train, and Overpass. On Cobble, we just saw, like you said, unlimited potential facing off against Affinity. Uh, doing okay on Cobble, but ultimately losing it, putting themselves down in, the, in this uh, loser's bracket. As far as Cobble goes, Downplay has been undefeated, uh, winning two maps on down, uh, on Cobble so far. 100% of the games they've played. Certainly looking to uh, continue uh, that trend. So let's see how things are going to go here as we're still waiting for all the teams to ready up, unfortunately. Uh, not too quick here readying up after the knife round. But, uh, yeah, as you said, winner moving on to play against Affinity in the grand finals in that best of three. Of course, all these teams hunting for points, try to get invited to that summer I buy power invitational, that $10,000 weekend tournament we are going to have towards the end of June. So uh, definitely, like I said, just trying to score all those points and get, uh, get ready for that. And so it looks like the LO3 is about to be put into effect here. So we should be kicking this thing off here very, very soon. All right. Well, there it is. All the teams have readied up. We're getting ready to rock and roll with the pistol round. It's a limited potential versus team downplay. Two uh, teams coming at it in the lower bracket finals, ready to prove their medal. Uh, winner goes off against team affinity in the grand finals. We'll be covering that live in just a few minutes. Match is live, and uh, we've got unlimited poten potential rocking CT side with Smoothie Good Karma, Squeak Quick, and Brett. And Downplay is going to rock it with ZW Lopez, OMG, Wicked, Bertus, and Cody. Action is underway. Dust's all you. All right, so let's kick it off here to see what's going to happen as uh, we do have unlimited potential. It's good karma here. It's stacked up by Skyfall, which is where the hit seems to become the pop flash coming in. Downplay going to send three players down and uh, start attacking in here. They do find good karma immediately. Just continue to swarm. Virtus leading the charge here with some great entry frags with that Glock. It's just going to be up to this one guy left kind of hiding in the shed. That's going to be ZQK. And Virtus finds another headshot onto him. So what a hat trick here to open up the round uh, from... Curtis has only clicks left in a 1v4. 
Yeah, he's going to get pinched off real fast. Stuck down by Skyfall. Wicked's going to come up behind him, finish uh, finish the job, and that's going to be a simple, quick kill. Score one and zero down play with the win and the bomb plant. Lots of money right there. So far, top frag is going to be Virtus 300 at the end of round number one. Question is, what is the decision as far as buying and saving goes? Down play a little, a little bit aggressive, maybe buying one Galil. Everybody else loading up with uh, the SMGs, a variety of SMGs, too. You typically see just uh, straight up uh, MP, uh, MP7 sort of rush these days, but uh, not the case this time around. Downplay setting up again. Heavy stack near Skyfall. Yeah, just kind of making a very similar play to what they made last time. Just uh, going to pop flash their way into Skyfall, it seems like. Already throwing some nades down there and trying to get some early damage. Limited potential going to kind of, kind of concede, just kind of give it up, and you're just going to see down play set up for a huge splend to be bomb side. But there is a bit of a, a flank coming in here, but Wicked set up very, very well to cut it off as he already finds one of them. He does get traded out there. Yeah, really nice play on the on the part of Lurk over there with uh, Wicked. Bomb's going to be planted very easily. Nobody was really watching the bomb site for Team, unlimited potential. T's were able to just kind of walk in there. Now we got Squeak all alone gets hit from behind that ZW. And uh, last man standing is Quick hanging out by the A-bomb site. Quick was able to pick up an SMG. He's got some armor purchase. And the smart decision here is to just go ahead and save it as best as possible. Don't even want to engage. He's going to go down by long A and uh, hide in the corner, hoping that no member of the hit squad can find him. The decision is, yeah, let's stream out away from the bomb site. See if you can't find anybody. They're not going to push the issue too much because downplay, even though they are ahead economically, every player dead is uh, going to be a little hit to the pocketbook. So uh, score goes two and zero dust and downplay. I think they're the favorite team right here on Cobble uh, showing what they've got. Yeah, opening up this way on the T side, certainly uh, good news. As like I said, this map tends to be a little bit uh, trended towards the T side, so being able to shut off the CTs from getting the piss around, definitely a big deal. Get you off to a great start, and uh, we'll see how they finish out as we do come into that third round, that last kind of anti-eco round that downplay is going to have to deal with, as uh, we do see them once again gearing up here outside B, outside that Skyfall area, and looking to just attack that B bomb site uh, pretty heavy again. Yeah, this time looks like good karma. He's kind of anticipating that. Tosses a Molotov up top, trying to trying to stop or delay the uh, the Skyfall push. They're still going to throw some grenades over, and the majority of the team, yet again, works their way down B main. However, we've got CT standing by sweep with the 2K. Not going to completely stop the push, though. Bomb makes its way outside. It's up to Smoothie all alone, hiding by statue, peeking around the corner. He knows somebody's around there. There's Cody. Takes a couple shots, barely hits him. Cody returns fire with the Galil, and uh, that's going to put us in a 2v2 situation. A little slow getting the bomb down, though, and uh, Dust looks like the rotation yeah. is already underway. Cody in trouble. Yeah, he's got a 1v2, but he's got both down the relatively low HP. He's still got a little bit of time left here with 30-something seconds left on the clock, so he does get the kill on the bread. He should get the bomb plant as well. It's going to be up to Quick, trying to win a one versus one here. He does have the health disadvantage, but Cody has no idea where he's coming from at this point, so there might be a chance for Quick to peek out and catch him off guard, and he does. Now it's done. And that's it. Uh, with the potential, going to steal around a little bit earlier than expected, uh, given the situation, and uh, makes it one to two as we go into the next round. Yeah, when you're in one of those 1v1 situations on the B-bomb side, it's a little dangerous, especially when you're in the position that Cody was in. Now, he didn't have a choice. He couldn't fall back to any sort of a, a safer position because that rotate came in so quickly. So here he is. He has to look at one, two, maybe even three angles at once. If he picked the right one, great. He had a good chance of taking the win, but he picked the wrong angle to look at and got punished for that. Score two and one, unlimited potential. Uh, getting a little bit of money on the board, and you're going to see the first double buy uh, with unlimited potential, trying to seize the day. Carpe diem, baby. Yeah, downplay once again, setting up for some type of heavy B execute. This time, everyone coming out of long. And this is kind of the classic B hit you see. There's some definite smokes you can throw on either side of this tree that give you a complete cover all the way to the statue. But you can see Smooty playing the edge of that. So he will be able to play the edge of the smoke, and he might be able to catch them still coming out of long B. Uh, they do see that nade coming out of uh, ZQK there, or SQ Squeak, so they know exactly where he is, at least, as they do prepare to come pushing out of long B. Really nice counter flashes going on on the part of Team Unlimited Potential. Squeak just pushes out a man on a mission. 
mowing down just one member of the terrorist downplay team as they work their way out bomb is going to be planted easily out at the main bomb site vert is hanging back of sight on balcony picks off good karma and now we're in a 2v2 situation vert is staying nice and hidden on balcony he's down to one single player all he has to do is play the bomb timer as good as he can he's already down um what is that 100 health quick down to 41 percent quick's gonna try and fake the defuse walks the corner gets punished for that headshotted by vertus score three and one downplay large and in charge still and uh i think that is we're in round five they've taken the b bomb site every single time it might be time to switch it up well i mean that is the like i like like i said earlier that is the site that you see hit more often than not on this map it's kind of the favorite site like i said a lot of cover for terrorists to use to get out into it from long b uh very very difficult for cts to defend against the long b hit and on top of that skyfall is also a huge disadvantage for cts i mean you can only see the top of terrorists heads while they're peeking you so it's an angle disadvantage to try to hold off one of you know one of the t's main ways into the site so uh, that B side is very, very powerful. And uh, that down play around there, just kind of mopping up on limited potential who are on a save. So uh, kind of expected stuff. But even now, limited potential don't have that yeah. much money. Uh, they could force together some type of buy, I guess, but it would mostly be, I uh, uh, yeah, like Famas armor or M4 no armor. So yeah, they're like like you said, just uh, taking the more conservative and, and probably the smarter choice, just to take a full save here, make sure they can get full guns in the very next round, uh, which will give you know downplay obviously a chance to take a pretty big lead at five one. But look at this, they are they are stacking up pretty heavy on the scaffold. They're actually going to counter boost and maybe try to flank around, or that's what the commerce thinking about doing. But Cody, there to cut him uh. off. Yeah, I don't think it was expecting that. They're going to do it all, again? Do it. Another boost over here. Grenade shuts it down, though, Cody. I don't think Cody has any idea what almost happened there. Yeah, nice exactly. Flash. If he had x ray down. like we did, but then he'd be cheating, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> that wall hack, though. Cody around the corner gets two more kills. Smoothie and Squeak both going down, and downplay finished the round almost as quickly. Uh, this time around, it's five and one. Looks like it might be a very quick best of one unless unlimited potential can really turn things around. Good news, though, Dust, is uh, they've got some money. We're going to see yep. a full buy and one off in Quick's hands in play. Yeah, exactly. But I would say this. If they don't win this round, they're right back to saving. I mean, they have very low money, four-round loss bonus of $2,900 coming in. If they lose this round... Uh, which would basically just leave them with like really low 3k figures except for Smoothie. So they would have to take a direct save. So that could be like a quick 7-1 for downplay if they can find this round as well. And once again, gearing up outside B Smoothie, looking to maybe take a peek here at Long B to see what's going on. If he gets caught, that could be a huge open site. But I will say Quick's playing a really good spot with this op in the shed. If downplay aren't careful, they don't check this, he could really shut this down single-handedly. Well, here comes the push. Smokes are out, and uh, looks like Lopez is going to be leading the charge, followed by uh, Curtis and Wicked. Quick's able to find Lopez very, very quickly. And look at Smoothie walking through the smoke oh. unloads. <laughs> ZW says, no, I don't think so. Shuts him down very fast. B-bomb site in the hands of the terrorist. ZW very weak on health, 80%. Plants in the standard location. And just like that, it is one versus yeah. three. Good karma. Two weak That's players, safe. though, could be. Nah, he's going to yeah. save. But the thing is, even when you say this M4, they're still not going to be much to work with. It'll be just his M4, maybe some upgraded pistols and armor. So, I mean, like I said, position to really start pushing ahead with the lead in a big way. And uh, that's uh, certainly a bit disappointing, I'm you sure. Know, this, this has to be a little bit disheartening for Team Unlimited Potential. They just uh, finished map two uh, versus Team Affinity. They did actually much better uh, this far in against Team Affinity, a major professional team, and now here they are in the loser's bracket. This is theirs to uh, to win. They need to take it so they can go back head-to-head -head against Affinity in the winner's bracket, and here they are getting destroyed by Downplay, a team that had previously been dropped down into this ladder. Downplay on a mission for that number one position. Now, keep in mind, the top three teams are all going to be walking away with some money one way or the other at the end of the, the three series of the MSI Summer Series, and uh, they're going to be walking away with BenQ monitors. So a lot is on the line right here as we roll into round number eight, Dust. Yep, and limited potential, obviously, not having a lot of potential to win this round. 
As uh, Z, wonderful child, is already able to get that clear over there at long A. So downplay taking the A bomb site this time with ease. Obviously, you know, it's a potential on a save here. So that certainly did uh, help things out in downplay's favor as they look to close out what is now a 4v2. And they seem to be doing so without too much hassle as uh, it is now just a squeak up in this round. You know, I, I I'm getting thrown this... for a loop here between like ZW and SQK, which is squeak and quick. Like I'm get I'm getting getting my jimmies wrestled, man. Yeah, you bet. I think that was actually a pretty smart play on the part of downplay. I think they realized that unlimited potential was going to be on a save round over there, and they said, you know what, we have the the, the gun advantage. Let's go ahead and do a nice hard proper hit on the A site just to kind of see what positions these guys are playing. How are they playing it? Do we have a good chance of taking it in the future? So far, the B take has been hyper successful, but now they know what A site looks like. Rolling into round number nine, seven and one, downplay in charge. They're gonna go up against full guns. And again, setting up for a major B site. Take the standard here on Cobble. Indeed, uh, not nothing too surprising here. They did go A that one time and they're gonna go heavy skyfall again. This is what we saw on pistol round and the round after that. Uh, so just going to do it again. Smoothie set up for it, but gets oh. caught by Wicked, saving his teammates' lives. Lopez, who looked like he was about to get laid out, but Wicked picked up on it quite well. And downplay so far, a flawless uh, entry into this B bomb site, smoking off the AB connector now as well. And uh, almost potential just don't seem to have a response to these really heavy B hits that downplay are throwing at them. I mean, well, they're doing the smart thing, I think, by giving up the skyfall. You can't really challenge that heavy of a hit with just one person. Uh, either you have to put two people dedicated to Skyfall to defend against that or just like give it up but then have to defend it from the B site. Right, but then you the have thing, to worry though. about long B too. So it's really difficult to defend against all that. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. They're nice, <laughs> nice shot from Good Karma taking down ZW. Not really going to make a big difference over there. Uh, here's the deal, though. Downplay has found a major weakness in Unlimited Potential. They know they can always do this major B hit from Skyfall. It's going to work. Unlimited Potential, they've been kind of giving it up, saying, you know what? We can't defend it. We're going to give it up. It's not working. It's time to switch it up. And I think the right call triple is to really is stack that area. Call. Well, what? they're triple opping. Yeah, so um, this seems triple foolish. op is not economical at all. Double op makes sense. Uh, triple op is a little bit stret of a stretch. If they lose. Yeah, they're screwed. screwed. Yeah, exactly. And that's why you don't commit to three. They're going to put one long A. That's pretty common. One B, also pretty common. But the third op is going to be on Quick, who is playing in Skyfall. What the actual... Oh, no, it's not. He dropped it to S Squeak, who is taking his op with good karma. They just pushed through B or something. Yeah, this is weird. Yep. Brett with the op, he's completely taken out of the picture. He smoked off on one side, Molly down the other, and then completely overrun. There's nothing he can do. Now look at this. This is two ops versus a full team over here. And uh, you just you can't do that. Squeak with the op. He's on an op versus op mission. Virtus doesn't know where he is, though. Look at this. Free fires. Squeak finds him easy. Headshotted with the op. And uh, he's going to go ahead and commit to this retake. Two versus one. It is winnable. Works around the corner. Peeking, checking his corners left and right. You got to find him. You got to get the better of your opponents. Lopez hiding around. Peeks and gets punished. There's the op shot and uh, squeak. If he's going to do something, he's got to do it very quickly. Get yeah, he can't even out. save this op now is the really the, the, the bad part. And he doesn't really have time to do this. Yeah, that was probably the stupidest thing I've seen at, uh, I guess, a somewhat professional level of Counter-Strike. I mean, this is a tournament with some professional teams in it, but... Uh, that was just silly. Triple you know, op makes no sense. And then they took two oppers and flanked them through long B. You're supposed to be holding positions with those ops, not running on a flank. Like, what kind of... Never mind. I don't even that, understand that. That is, that is the flush your money down the toilet play right there, my friend. That is the, you are an idiot. Please go watch some <laughs> demos and see us go, like, play right there. Surprisingly... Unlimited potential. They've got enough money to go ahead and purchase a couple of guns. We got Mosses trying to hold down the bomb site, but no hard push straight up from ramp and mid. The T's taking control. It's all up to Smoothie. Smoothie stuck in smoke. He's going to get shut down by Wicked. The bomb goes down, and we only have good karma. It almost feels as though unlimited potential has given up over here. They know they need to save the guns, hang on to it. And I think that the, the thought crossed good karma's mind. 
that he's just going to go solo, YOLO, and retake the site himself. Not going to happen. Instead, he's going to hang back, try to get some exit frags, but Virtus is creeping down the steps, and uh, we'll see what happens, Dust. Yeah, I don't know here, man. Uh, this round's definitely over, right? So it's about to be 10 oh, to okay. in favor of downplay. And while this is a slightly oh. favored map, you can just see the, the dumb bonehead mistakes that only to potential are making. Like, what the one I can th think of is I can't, that couldn't have been a conscious decision to triple off, right? Like, someone had to have bought one by accident. Maybe yeah, I'm wrong, though. Maybe that call. was a conscious decision. Might have just been a bad call. I mean, how many times have you been in a competitive match where, you know, somebody buys an AWP and then you buy an AWP and you kind of look at the situation and you say, um,. Uh oh. Well, we better make this work. Yeah, but that's something that should be really easy to organize, like in freeze time, right. if you're a full team. Like, hey, you know, our normal opera will obviously buy an op. Let's do a, another op setup, and yeah. it'll be you. Like, I don't know. It's Either not way, what you expect teams playing at this level for sure. Now they just kind of run their heads up against the wall at long B, and they get completely busted for it. They're down play, shutting it down. They're also going to flush good karma out of the corner here with a nice piece of fire. He does do some damage, but he does get caught. And downplay going to use this to once again attack this B bomb site. They have a three versus two and make that just Brett with only seven HP already getting dinked down by Cody. <laughs> and uh, this bomb's definitely getting planted. And Brett has a really tough 1v3 on his hands with such low HP. And uh, he may not even go for it. He's just going to run away. And it's going to be 11 to 1 downplay. And I mean, I don't know the potential to seem like they have no idea what they're doing on CD side of this map, in all honesty. Yeah, they're, they're really struggling over here. And another another situation that Unlimited Potential has is the fact that they continually force buy. I don't think they've had a, a true proper buy uh, more than, what, two times so far. Well, at this point, they have to. Or they've lost too many rounds to be able to have the luxury of taking a save round. Like, they kind of have to just keep forcing out because they have yeah. to win a round. Like, and and it, is a, it is a best of one. So whoever wins right here on Cobble right. is going to be going ahead to play up against Team Affinity in the uh, number two qualifier. A little bit of screwing around in the bathroom. Uh, porta potties over there. Downplay. I think. I think they realize that they are outclassing a limited potential. They're starting to have some fun, but that is dangerous. That is dangerous because if you do get overconfidence, sometimes you start to overpeak those corners and play uh, a little too cocky. So it could be advantage and limited potential as we roll in to yet another force buy here. Three Famasas, an AK, and an M4. Silence. Eleven to one. They better do something. Yeah, they have to win this round for sure. As uh, we are going to once again see a lot of nades from downplay here into the skyfall. They are going to pop flash a player in there. And uh, they will actually push Moody out. He'll be forced just to kind of play the edge there. But good karma from the shed catches Wicked chasing after Smoothie. So that's a good pickup there. Lots of nades going off here at B. Smoothie pressing. Oh, getting Smoody. aggressive. He does get a sec. He does get a kill there. But it is He almost downplay. got a 2K. Indeed. But the heavy rotation to the B side of the map now. A is completely open except for one player. It's going to be Brett. So downplay still could find a bomb plant here despite being down See, a man. Here's the problem, though. Unlimited potential. They, they got those kills, and Samudi saw the rotate. He should have called the fake, and there should be a whole bunch of CTs already firmly entrenched on the A site instead. That's not the case. Doesn't matter, though. As the T's downplay rotate back into the site, Unlimited Potential is able to go ahead and pick up the kill. Smoothie, the only guy going down. And now we have a little bit of money for Unlimited Potential and another point on the board. It's 2 and 11, and now we have a proper full buy for the first time in many, many moons for yeah. Unlimited Potential. Thanks to winning that uh, that kind of force buy around there. If they would have lost that, they probably would have had like, to have another broken buy. So that was a big win there. Of course, downplay rolling in the money at this point uh, at their winnings. You know, how many rounds was that in a row? Eight or something like that? Maybe nine? Uh, I think it was nine rounds in a row. So they they, are, they have plenty of money. They're not too worried. So... Once again, running their set smoke set up over here at B. This time, there's a lot of people in the area. A lot of counter nades coming in as well. So, limited potential finally just over rotating to B. They don't have a choice. They can't defend it with the normal numbers. And uh, downplay finally running up against the wall here. Yeah, what's happening here with downplay is they're moving a little bit slower. They've been very aggressive on the B site. And this time around, up against a full buy, they're taking their time, kind of working on the picks. And they're getting stalled out. That's the big issue. And it's given... Unlimited potential, plenty of time to make the massive rotate. Lopez, though, doing some serious, serious work. Not quite enough. He's going to go down, putting us into a three, or rather a 1v1. Squeak finds the kill on Virtus and uh, unlimited potential in charge. Still plenty of money.
for down. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So the last round will be pretty much another full buy-up round here. Um, I'd like to see Virtus get an op and just take some picks at Longview whenever they get aggressive on it, because that seems to be kind of the trend we've seen lately, as the op is actually going to be on Cody, not Virtus. So I'm curious so to see. Off. Yeah, he's going to be taking it over towards Long A and mid. And there's going to be a push coming out Long A. Squeak also trying to get aggressive here in the mid room, but it is going to get forced back, and so we're going to see downplay just kind of swarm on this. Yeah, Cody watching connector over here. I'd like to see him maybe hold this position uh, because nobody really looks to the right when they start rotating on in. Quick, standing outside of smoke. He's also got Smoothie. The rotate's already been called. CT is swarming in. How quickly can you get the bomb site in? How quickly can you take control? That's the question. Quick, push it through smoke. Finds They're just Cody. pushing one by one, though. Like, Smoothie ran in there by himself with no support and died and gave it a three versus two. So this is just a little bit of lack of coordination here on the retake. But they still have a two versus three with one player down the low HP on the T side. So maybe they can still find this. Well, good karma. Through smoke, takes Lopez out. Teammate, quick, backs him up. And that's a very nice, clean sweep of the bomb side. Unlimited potential. Quick. <laughs> what? Gonna get, gotta get the, that, the defuse. I gotta get that defuse, man. I guess. Gotta be greedy. The trolling has begun. Yeah, it's last round. No, like, real money penalty happens or anything like that. So I guess you can, you know, have a little bit of fun with it in a situation like that. Yeah. As, uh, you know, downplay will now move over to the CT side. They have an 11 to 4 lead. So, really, really good positioning here. Very similar to what we saw in the Affinity right. game on Cobble against uh, Limited Potential. So, let's see what happens here. Yeah, Limited Potential. I thought they were pretty much out of it this game, but they, they came back. It would have been nicer to have maybe one or two more points. Uh, going into the T side, but uh, all is good. You know, they're going to roll in two. Action. Only one person watching the B-bomb site. Quick run over very fast. Oh, they haven't read it out. Yeah, dude. Calm down. Good game. <laughs> it's okay, game. bud. It's okay. We'll forgive you. We'll forgive you. We'll forgive what you. a great round. Too yeah, bad it was, doesn't count. It was a really key round there. Yeah, absolutely. As I believe we are giving away a graphics card later. That's the we word are. I'm hearing. It's a MSI 960 graphics card. Uh, and I think we'll be giving that out at some point during the grand final, which will be a little bit later on this evening, I think. Uh, so definitely want to stick around for that. Essentially, we'll get you to type something in chat to qualify a little bit later, and then we'll do a random drawing. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. Also, we do have some North American Pro League coverage coming up in MLG TV slash PlaySiva in a little bit as well. Uh, I think we have, what, uh, a game between, let's see who it is. It's uh, Elevate versus Luminosity up first, and then it's CLG versus Tempo Storm after that. Uh, so definitely want to stay tuned for that later on tonight as well. Then, of course, we have our Pro League coverage always taking place Sunday through Thursday every single week this summer. Two EU games during the day, two at, in the evening for NA. So be on the lookout for that as well as we continue into this pistol round. Well, looking at the pistol round, it's already looking pretty bad for Team Unlimited Potential. This is their round that they need to win. Uh, Going to watch Smoothie walking around. With his back to Lopez, Lopez finds the shot very easily, and it's a four versus one. Bomb carrier is going to be squeak, slowly walking into the A site. He's got to deal with Virtus, though, who's watching all corners. Still doesn't know exactly where squeak is. Working up alley right now. The shots give it away, though. Virtus, all he has to do is peek around. Doesn't even have to do that. ZW with the long-range USP shuts him down, putting down play in uh command 12 and four economic advantage and these guys are going to buy up very heavily with an m4 a1s and a famas and yeah, guess and who's going to watch skyfall uh probably cody <laughs> <laughs> you think <laughs> maybe he does have the auto shotgun which is uh the hard counter to skyfall i'm just kidding I, it's probably not as, uh, you know, obviously only pistol going for the upgraded pistols and armor here because it's second round they lost first. Typical second round meta. So far an equal trade, but only potential trying to smash into hey So far doing a decent job. They now have the one-man advantage here. And uh, good karma cutting off some more rotates with this Tech-9. So they might steal a round away here. You know, it looks like Cody just got really, really confused there. He was the last man standing. He was surrounded on all sides, and he kept kind of noticing where a player was behind him coming from uh, connector and all that. And then he would forget and focus on another player. 
The rest of his team gets mowed down, and then he easily exposes his back to one of the many T's surrounding him. A point on the board for Team Unlimited potential, but most importantly, that uh, that put a huge dent in the economy of Team Downplay. Now Unlimited potential with a huge gun advantage, forcing Downplay into a save round. This is what needs to happen if Unlimited potential wants to take the win. Yep, and now downplay going to be forced to double save. That's typically what happens when you win first, lose second, especially as a CT where guns are more expensive. You're pretty much forced to take a double save, and so that means that element potential should be able to take the seventh round here quite easily as well, but then downplay will be back to full buying after that, and at that point, element well, potential will meet their first real big test, which is you know a full gun-on-gun -gun round to see if they have the grit to, uh, to actually you know try to take back control of this map. Yeah, I can't tell you how frustrating it is to be on... Uh on the end where you win the pistol round and then you you lose the following round it just undoes all of those successes looks like uh downplay is going to be very aggressive on their pistol round virtus boosting in and uh now they got all the information they pushed they stacked b site fully with five players and it was the wrong choice the wrong site that gave full a control to the t's and uh bomb's gonna get planted very easily and it's up to downplay to do a difficult difficult eco retake Right, as Virtus able to find the pick there onto Squeak, though. 2v3 and AK picked up by Cody. He does spot quick in the site, takes a lot of damage, though, so he'll definitely fall back with that and save it now. Virtus goes down, and Cody just trying to hightail it out of there to see if he can hold this AK for next round, but a limited potential definitely giving chase here. They don't want to allow him to hold on to this gun, though he will be able to buy no matter what next round anyway, oh. and, I mean, you're just <laughs> maybe giving up guns, but they do get the kill, so... They do. They take him down. They keep the economic momentum right there. Uh, downplay. Hey, you know what? I, I got to give it to them. They know they're on a pistol round. They know they're supposed to uh, lose that round. So they made a really, really tough call. Everybody stacked B site. You flip a coin. They're going to one or the other. They just happened to choose the wrong one. They made the best. Uh, they did the best that they could, making a couple of kills. And now they finally have enough money to go ahead and buy out full. You got one off for each squeak. And Virtus hanging on to those big guns as the bomb makes its way, probably going towards B site. Very slowly, very cautiously for unlimited potential. Yeah, and they're dedicating two to watching Skyfall up close. So downplay kind of being a team that like to use the Skyfall quite heavy on their T side, dropping down lots of numbers. Do put a lot of emphasis on two people kind of watching at the beginning of the round. So understanding how their play works and how to counter it, so to speak. Uh, that's good karma though coming up to mid room finds Virtus over at a wicked though hiding here behind the fence able to come out and find two uh, so it's now an advantage here for downplay yeah while that was happening i was sitting there watching wonder child who was staying back at b site and uh he manages to find the lurk slowly creeping around b takes the easy kill right there and squeak's gonna be all alone he's stuck the spam stuck cody's trying to do a. <laughs> yeah, this is just a bad I don't even know situation. if that works. I don't think he can actually cross. Like, the, he, he thinks that this is being uh, covered. Gets smoked off and is able to kind of back off. You want to hang on to that off because it's an expensive gun and uh, your economy is already going to be I would even go for that. I don't know. I mean, I know there's a lot of money out there. Like, I mean, there's two guys and five figures from Limited, so I guess it was worth just trying to get some guns down and force some rebuys yeah. out of down play since their economy is pretty low. So there's definitely that that reasoning for it. Um, this was kind of a hard peak to take, given that, that they had already blocked you out along, and it's the only place you can actually peek from, so they were pretty aware of what was going on. Yeah, coming off of three round wins, uh, a couple of players for Unlimited Pro were already filthy rich over here so you're still able to see a full buy no ops but a full ak buy for unlimited potential they're committing pretty seriously to the a site squeak gets shut down at ramp easily buy an off and uh quick's working his way up look at this guy in vents all alone he's kind of taking on the lurk roll bomb is down how did sneaks from behind Surprised Lopez didn't hear that great pop and, and understand what was going on maybe he thought it was his teammate rotating but yeah either way tunnel vision yeah, ZW just forcing a one versus three that uh, he's definitely not favored for. Yeah, this really shouldn't have happened there. Oh, Smoothie takes the headshot, finishing ZW. That really shouldn't have happened over there. I mean, it was kind of a a failed push from the start with that quick off shot. Looked like the T's were completely discombobulated, but uh, they made that weird move towards connector through the vents 
and uh, complete unawareness on the part of the, the downplay players. So unlimited uh, potential, getting another point on the board, and now they're forcing downplay into a full save. You don't see this a whole lot, where they don't even buy armor, grenades. It's just straight up USP, do what you can, stack A. Well, that's just how bad their economy is. They can't even afford anything if they want to be able to buy next round. So it's even one of those situations where even with this full save, next round it's still going to be kind of tight. So, I mean, they definitely had to, to take a full save here. Yeah, the head games are real. On the save round, Team Downplay chose to go ahead and fully stack A site this time instead of B site. And what does Unlimited Potential do? They just take the B site. Real fast on the retake, uh, you're going to see massive kills going back and forth, and uh, Team Downplay just gets cut down. They don't even make it into the site. 9-13 unlimited potential with a serious T-side comeback tonight. Yeah, they're, start, they're starting to creep back into the game here. They can get a couple more round wins, and all of a sudden you got to add some credibility to their uh, potential comeback actually working. Uh, right now, I think Downplay still feels pretty comfortable, but like I said, you give Unlimited Potential a couple more rounds, all of a sudden that uh, cushion begins to uh, be eradicated, and, and all of a sudden you have yourselves a game on your hands. So we'll just have to see Limited once again wanting to press up the mid-slope, and just taking that 1v1 aim battle is good karma. He's done that a couple of times now, just completely out-rifling the person holding the mid-slope, and... And uh, nothing, nothing tactical about that. Just straight up winning a duel. Well, the game is indeed afoot. There's Cody taking down Brett for unlimited potential. So they're already down one player. Each team down one player as the bomb works its way into the bomb site uh, quick. Trying to get the, uh, the bomb plant, but you've already got three CTs on site working their way around. Cody shooting through smoke. Finds one player here. Now Cody's going to be all alone. Smoothie kicks the corner. Smoothie's doing some serious, serious work on the bomb site. And uh, Tease, they don't know that they have full control of the bomb site, but Squeak's going to go ahead and plant that bomb anyway. Find some cover. He's got a teammate backing him up, and it's all in the hands of Virtus on the retake. Yeah, he's gotten Smoothie down to pretty low HP, so he might be able to finish off that frag at least. And uh, he's going to spam, and he will get that. But now he's up against Squeak. Very high HP. Does get caught with a nade out, but able to get back into cover very quickly. Will Molly the bomb. Very smart move there. No matter what happens in this duel, it does slow down Virtus from being able to defuse this bomb. I think there's... Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Squeak. Sets himself on fire. I'm done. Yeah, right? You know, I think what happened there is he, he just miscalculated the time. He assumed that fire was just going to go out right when he stepped on it. Just, You're low on health. Just you wait. can't make the gamble. Yeah, I mean, like, first of all, you should just realize that you probably didn't have time to defuse anyway, so just save your gun and run away. Oh, but uh, that was just beyond dumb. I don't, I don't even understand when I'm watching. I'm... You know, I saw Sanctinton do something similar with Nylum on Mirage a couple yep. of weeks ago or last week, and uh, that was pretty hilarious as well. But on an eco, they just shut down this mid push with some pistols. Cody coming up with four. What the heck? I was about to say that I'm starting to worry about downplay over here on a full eco round. And look at this. They mow down four members. It's just Smoothie all alone. And Ace. Cody's going to find him. Shut him down with the AK-47. Downplay wins the round. That was not supposed to happen whatsoever. Oh, what all. happened at mid? I don't know. Cody just aced him, though. He got four kills with a pistol in the mid room and then grabbed an AK, turned around and caught the flanker, and that was the 5K. Uh, so big ace there from Cody uh, on, like you said, pretty much a big save round, and they're still able to now put themselves within one round of the map point. And actually the match point, because this is just the best of one. So downplay, looking to try to move up into the grand final against Affinity if they can go ahead and close out these last couple of rounds. And still a lot of money here for Linter Potential. They still do get the op on the squeak, and they have rifles and everyone else. So they're still equipped to try to go for this round. But uh, that was a big shutdown by downplay. It was. I mean, you know, in a lot of ways, though, this is really the match point for Team Unlimited Potential. Exactly. Because if they lose this, they're going to be down economically so badly that uh, mm -hmm. they should lose the next series of rounds here. Unlimited Potential playing yep. very, very cautiously by yeah. B. Not as you said, this is it. This is the ticket right here. You know, they lose this round. It's probably all over, as you said. So this is flash. pretty much the game. Flash going down my Skyfall. They're trying to sell something. They're playing much more cautiously. They realize the gravity of the situation. Bomb still outside. Here's what I'm worried about. ZW's playing this corner that hasn't been played yet. They may not think to check that. They do have one Molotov on good karma, but he may be using it to, to flush out the bottom corner. So that could come into First play pick. really big. 
Wicked for down play. Little trades at ace site. You called yeah. it, Dust. The hidden corner, no one checks it. ZW mows down too. Yeah, it's just like one of those... Every every map has a spot like that. Like one of those spots where you can get away with playing at one time and making a big play. Like yeah. Cash has it at the, the boosted A boxes and the A bomb site. This map has it there. And then also at long A, there's like another spot that you can play that's very similar that doesn't get checked. Ninja on Mirage. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Walk uh, into the site, no one checks it, and then you're dead. Yeah, so there's so many. There, every map has their ninja opportunities that are, are good for one big play, and it was right there for down play. And that could be it. As you said, Olympus potential have no money. They're just tech nining up, doing what they can. They're just going to be rushing into long A and mid room. Can they make it happen and postpone the inevitable, or can they try to p make a start towards five rounds in a row towards overtime? We'll find out here and now as they start storming into A. Wicked attempts the spray down over here. Squeak and Good Karma run him over very quickly. Looks like we're going to have an easy A take. No, Virtus. I think that was, yeah, collateral damage taken down Squeak and Good Karma. And then following up with more off shots. That was a very fast round. Down play 16 10. But uh, as we spoke about, it was really the previous round right there. The economic breaking victory for down play. And uh, that makes down play your winners on Cobble. Moving forward to the grand finals coming up next against the all pro team affinity yeah unfortunately i think we're gonna have to kind of wait on that to start affinity is currently playing against liquid in, in another tournament right now uh and they are only one map into that they're still in map number two now if affinity loses that map two then it'll be they'll be right back here um but if not uh, then they have a whole third map to play as well if they do win that second map against Liquid. And I'm trying to get you an update here on the score of that second map. Um, looks like ch -ch -ch, the second map right now is a score of 6-4 to four in favor of Liquid. So it's probably going to be at least another 20 or 30 minutes before we get started with the Grand Finals here, unfortunately, due to Affinity being in another tournament alongside this one. So definitely stick around, but it might be about 30 minutes or so before we come back, folks.